Today is the 18th of March in the fourth week of Lent. Welcome to the Rainbow Sash Movements podcast. Today, the Vatican Information Services released the following statement. The Pope opening his remarks with a reference to the current economic crisis. He noted it has sorely tried the economic productive systems of various countries. Nonetheless, it should be faced with trust because it can be considered as an opportunity for the revision of development models and the reorganization of global finance, a new time, as it has been described, of profound reflection. The pontiff went on to say, while recommending that politics not be subordinate to financial mechanisms, he encouraged the reform and creation of an international juridical and political order adapted to global structures of economy and finance in order to more effectively to achieve the common good of the human family. The Pope should remove the plank from his eye before he focuses on the sliver of another organization's incompetence. Reform is required in the Roman Catholic Church, and perhaps the Holy Father needs to refocus his emphasis on that matter and not tell others how to achieve what he cannot achieve for the Church. Before the Pope can tell others how to live their lives, he would do well to set his own house in order. In our journey, Father, in this day, keep us in your way. Let me make this my prayer today, to know God's closest to me here, right now, and never to lose sight of it, and let myself be loved, enlivened, and guided by God. When, Holy Father, will you respond to the legitimate needs of the victims of clergy sexual abuse? When, Holy Father, will you hold those bishops and cardinals accountable for the part that they played? in this. When, Holy Father, will you ask for the resignation of Cardinal Shane Brady, primate of all Ireland, for the part he has played in the pain of innocent children? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you, the listener, for listening to this issue of the Rainbow Sash Movement's podcast. Please consider joining us on Pentecost Sunday, May the 23rd, as we enter cathedrals around the country calling for justice for gay, lesbian, transgendered, and bisexual people.